got it. It's just Sunday morning. You do this all the time. This is your job. Don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Just tell people about Jesus. That's all you got to do. Tell them about Jesus. Whoa! Kenny, you snuck in on me. I, <clears throat> I wasn't quite ready for you. Anyway, Grace United Methodist Church, we are glad that you are with us this Sunday, March 24th, uh, 2013. Today is Palm Sunday, and hopefully you have already gotten your palms and you are waving them. Say, I'm waving my palm. <laughs> anyway, um, today's Palm Sunday, a time of celebration, a time that we um, look back uh, into the scriptures and when Jesus made his triumphant entry into Jerusalem. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. But hopefully you also picked up one of these or had one of these handed to you when you came in this morning. This is our order of worship. You can find out what's going on in the life of the church this week. You'll see on Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Uh, we will be having a special service, a Monday Thursday service. We hope you will come to that and be prepared to uh, to, to consider what Jesus went through in his suffering and his crucifixion for everyone uh, in this whole entire world, and that includes each and every one of us. So, hope you'll be here Thursday evening. And if you will just take your order and turn it to the back, on the back side is everything that I really want us to uh, pay attention to this morning. Uh, Grace on Wheels running today at 12 noon. Outreach meeting, they're meeting Tuesday. Don't forget the Easter egg hunt if you have little kids. Uh, make sure they're here next Saturday, the 30th, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, have an Easter egg hunt to make sure that you have your kids here. Don't forget to save the date for the New Beginning Circle event on Sunday, April the 14th. Uh, Girls of Grace, they're going on a fun trip to, uh, to Greenville, or excuse me, Spartanburg to see John Pierce. Uh, make sure you check that out. It's still not too late to sign up for Financial Peace. You may think, I'm great with money, or maybe I stink with money, but wherever you are at either spectrum or somewhere in the middle, um, if you're wanting to have more insight into handling your finances, check out Signing Up for Financial Peace and talk to Miriam Ferguson or Rayford and June Prince. Um, you'll see a note there about the confirmation classes being rescheduled. All the folks who wanted to participate in confirmation, it actually works better for their schedules to do it in the fall. So be looking in your newsletters and your bulletins. Sometime this summer you'll see more information about confirmation dates and when they will begin in the fall. And uh, we will most likely, unless something crazy happens, we will most likely be uh, joining together with Miss MJ uh, Shoemaker and her church in Greenwood and we will be doing a um, uh, kind of cooperative or communal confirmation class so that'll be a fun time for us and also uh, check out the note that says the bishop is coming to St. John's United Methodist Church the bishop of uh, the South Carolina annual conference Bishop Holston is uh, making his way around every district here in this conference and he will be with the Anderson district on uh, April the 21st at 4 p.m. at St. John's United Methodist Church in Anderson this is an invitation to all clergy and uh, non-clergy or laity in the church. If you're interested in going and listening to Bishop Holston, uh, share a word, share a um, word of insight about where this conference is going and his vision for this conference. Uh, then we'll have a time of fellowship, meet and greet with the bishop. But that's at 4 o'clock. We'll be leaving the church on April 21st at 2.45. Um, if you are looking to go or would like to go, make sure you contact the church office by Sunday the 14th to let us know so that we can plan accordingly for transportation. Now, I mentioned to you that today is Palm Sunday, and it is, which means next Sunday is Easter Sunday. And I hope that you will take the time this week to invite someone to Easter Sunday. Um, this, this is a, a huge part of, of, of the Christian faith, celebrating Jesus being resurrected and, and bringing us new life. And but somewhere in the midst of there, there's a celebration Palm Sunday, and there's celebration Easter. But on the bookends of these celebrations, there has to be a cross. So today we're going to have a focus on Palm Sunday, but we're also going to have a focus upon the, the suffering and crucifixion of Jesus. And as we travel throughout this service today for the next hour, I hope that you will not only be in, in celebration of Jesus coming and what Jesus brings in his life, but let us also be uh, considering what Jesus went through in his death for each and every one of us and what that means for us. That means we have an opportunity to have eternal life. That means we have an opportunity to put away our guilt, shame, and we have an opportunity to be in relationship with the creator of the universe because of Jesus Christ. So, for the next hour, 
Enjoy worship. We're glad you're here. And don't forget to invite somebody next week. Have a great day.